Hi guys, uh, James from DBG here and welcome to another video. Um, this is a little bit of an intro to uh, uh, what this whole video is going to be about. And it's going to be about my secret 40k army. I decided to do this, well quite recently actually. Um, uh, yeah, um, I found some um, a strong message on Facebook for a particular army that someone was trying to sell. So um, I messaged that person and it was still available. So I purchased it uh, through Facebook and also added a few other bits and bobs uh, from our affiliate Goblin Gaming and I have to do a massive shout out to Goblin Gaming uh, because I placed the order on, I think it was Monday afternoon and within an hour they replied saying it, the order had been dispatched and I received it the following day so less than 24 hours, probably even like 13, 14 hours um, a turnaround from purchasing these items to um, them being on my doorstep, which is massively cool. Anyway, um, some of you may remember a video I did probably a couple of years ago now um, about three 40k armies I would never, ever, ever do. Um, and those three armies were, in no particular order, Necrons, Tyranids and Tau. And I gave specific reasons for each um, army. Now with 8th edition coming along, um, things have changed. And I've always loved the models from two of those factions, Necrons and Tau. Um, I will never do Necrons, ever, ever. Um, much as do Nick's um, disgust. And probably Rykov as well, because he has a quite substantial Necron army. Um, I will never do um Tyranids, because I had to paint Tyranids when, uh, for the store when I worked for Games Workshop. And they are an arse to paint. So you probably guessed what the secret army is. And that is, it is Tau. Um, and the reason I gave for not doing Tau was uh, basically based on all the 7th edition nonsense that was going on with formations and stuff like that. Uh, basically, it was a gun line that you can't get near if you are a fluffy or... Um, assault oriented army, you just couldn't get near it. And the amount of shots coming out, and the times you can shoot twice, and this and that, and riptide wings, yeah. Anyway, um, with 8th edition, that's all changed. So, I'm going to turn the camera around and we're going to see what I've got. So, um, join me in a second, guys. And welcome back. Um, as you can see, we have the Tau Star Collecting Box. With the Tau Codex. I also got the Tau um, um, card with all the objectives and stratagems and what have you in. And we have this box here. This box here is what I got from um, from Facebook. And I want to say a big thank you to Zach uh, for selling them to me and being massively cool and um, very responsive with messages and stuff like that. So yeah, thank you very much, Zach. So I'm, I'm not going to do unboxings and stuff. We're just going to look at what we got. Um, so it's not collecting box. You get ten. There you go, focus. Uh, ten fire warriors, an ethereal, and three crisis suits. Oh, sorry, actually eight crisis suits and a number of drones. What's that? Uh, eight drones um, of varying descriptions. Put that on one side. And then we have the codex. It's very cool, I've been reading it already. Um, I've already come up with. Oh, there goes a tripod. I've already come up with an army um, with everything that's in this box and in that um, and already I am up to 2,000 points or just under 2,000 points uh, which is very cool. I'll probably have to change it up a bit because of I can remember the combinations of weapons that are already on the models that have already been made. Anyway, so without further ado. So first of all we have sprues. These are the weapon sprues for um, hammerheads and devilfish. We have another weapon sprue. We have in this box, in this bag here, sorry, we have a unbuilt Tau Commander and another 10 Fire Warriors. Bases, everyone has bases. Uh, instructions for the Fire Warriors, it's very cool. And now I'm going to put the box down here because I'm going to need space. First of all, um, there is it's a bit of damage to these, um, but it's easily fixed. So I'm not bothered at all. So first of all, we have this, which is a devil fish, but it's been set up as 
a sky ray. So that's the sky ray of a smart missile systems. Apparently, according to tabletop tactics, it's not the best option. I speak points heavy and not particularly reliable, but you get to shoot at stuff that you can't see, which is very cool. We have in here, we have another bag. I believe this is another, yes, this is another part. Oh, this is devilfish parts. So I might be able, I'm sorry, hammerhead parts might be able to change the um, Ascari into a hammerhead, which is um, their tank, basically. We have a devilfish. Um, this one actually has a broken skip, but that's not, not a problem. What I'll end up doing is just breaking all of these off, um, filing them down and sticking them down, and then putting them on flying bases. So that's not a problem. We have more, <coughs> more vehicle bits. We have, no, I love this. I love this model when it first came out. We have a piranha, um, and it's um, equipped with a fusion blaster, which is the correct way to have it. The gun drones are separate. There is quite a lot of drones. So yeah. That's a piranha, and this is cool. And the good thing about this paint job is the paint is not very thick, so I will just be able to either do a quick strip or just even re undercoat and go straight over with my chosen colour scheme. Next, we have one of my favourite models, an XV88 broadside. Uh, this is armed with smart missile, heavy rail cannon, and it's got the um, it has twin plasma. Plasma rifles, but that's broken off. Not a problem. Easy to start back on. We have, again, another one of my favourite models, a Riptide. Uh, this one is armed with um, smart missile systems and the ion, the heavy ion gun, not the um, heavy burst gun. Um, let's see if I can find it. But yeah, there's some, bit, some bits that come off it. So there's a the shield. Easy to start back on. Oh, there it is. That's the um, ion pulsar thing. Whatever. Yeah, so that's going to go be glued back on. Then we have, there's so many, I'm not going to get all the drones out, there's a good 20 drones in here. Um, we have Fire Warriors, there's 10 Fire Warriors in there, made up of five, Focus, five with Pulse Rifles, and five with Pulse Carbine. Again, these have been only thin coats of paper on, so that's easily sorted out. In here, there is also seven of these guys um, in various states of being painted. So this one's just been undercoated. Um, this one's actually got quite a good loadout with a plasma rifle, fusion blaster and shield generator. So there's seven of those guys now, so that gives me ten in all. Um, right. Here we have... Um, a stealth suit, the plasma rifle has been put on at a strange um, a plasma rifle, fuse box has been put on a strange angle, that's easily sorted. I'll just uh, cut it off. So there's a squad of those guys, there's three of those guys. The other ones, as you can see, have burst cannon. Here's another one of the um, crisis suits, as you can see, this one's been more extensively painted. And this one's loaded out with lots of weapons. Not particularly my favorite loadout, but um, it's been built. I'm trying to reconfigure it, may end up damaging the model, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and that's about it, apart from the various, various drones and other bits and bobs. Um, yeah, so all in all, that is 1,900. And 98 points um, with the drones and everything. There's loads of drones. Um, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to even get the drones out. So yeah, I am really pleased with that. Um, it wasn't that expensive. Well, I'm not going to tell you how much I bought, how much I paid, but it wasn't that expensive. So my next job is to first of all um, sort everything out, fix the things that need to be fixed, uh, pinning, gluing, whatever. Then um, it's building the things that need to be built. So there's another 20 fire warriors of various configurations. I'm going to do some breaches because I do like the breaches. And the, the, the um, Tower Commander and the other crisis suits and what have you. So, yeah. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, 
I did Tower when they first came out, back in 4th edition I think it was. Or it was 3rd edition, it was 3rd or 4th edition, I can't remember. Um, and they weren't that great. Um, and they've got better and better as iterations of the game have gone on. So yeah, hopefully. Um, like I said um, in my previous video, uh, oh, if you're wondering about the um, Space Wolves, they're all built, they're all, that was my dog, they're all built, they're all undercoated. I've started painting five of them, but this lot turned up, so I put them back in their box to be brought out at another stage when I haven't got um, new and shiny syndrome. So, this is um, this is my project for the next week or so. I'll try and get as much of, a, much of it done as I humanly can because I do have a job waiting. Um, I would have told the clients that I was going to be about a week before I can start in, so um, I need to get as much of this done. If I can get all of it built and a good thousand points painted, I'll be a very happy man. So, without further ado, like and subscribe. Go to the links in the description for Patreon, Goblin Gaming, White Shark Gaming. Um, tell your friends, share it around. Um, as I said before, our plan is to get to 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, or at the end of the year. Um, so that would be very cool of you who can do that. And as usual, thanks for watching guys, and I'll catch you next time.